we're going to keep Pastor Butch about 10 minutes in the next hour and then get Bob Fletcher on. This is breaking, but I've got Fletcher coming on because he was an Iran-Contra whistleblower and congressional fraud investigator, and he has seen the inside of the CIA, uh, assassinations, black ops, you name it, and he's been warning about this for 20 years. But I want to play a clip from Pastor Butch's show. The full audio is up at InfoWars.com. Because people were asking, you know, is this report accurate? And I went, well, yeah, but we need to tell people who it is. It's Pastor Butch. So that's now been added at InfoWars.com with one of his sources, uh, a Lieutenant McCoy. And it was Butch that broke the, the clergy response team, uh, I don't know, six, seven years ago. And people couldn't believe it at the time. It was later declassified. Preachers are being paid to spy on you and to teach to turn your guns in when they're given the order. Now it's over 100,000 preachers. So uh, we're going to get Butch and, and, and his info briefly here. We'll probably have him back on tomorrow or so. But, but let's go to a clip from uh, the Lieutenant McCoy out of North Carolina, totally freaked out because he says they're telling him it's about to happen in the next few weeks. Here it is. What, what are you hearing from, uh, from your superiors of what's coming down and what you're looking for? Well, they're, they're, looking, they're looking for it to happen, and they're training for it to happen. Now, you said the training, training to take us down or training to depend us? Yes, sir. Training, <laughs> training to take us down. And really? uh, law, law enforcement in uh, here in North Carolina has started training with drones, military-operated drones. Wow. Okay, that, they started, they started uh, uh, training with military drones in, in North Carolina. Yes, sir, that's correct. Sir. By the way, this is all confirmed and already separately. The peers are training the forces to take down the American people. Yes, sir. Uh, how are the forces responding to that? Well, one of the main things that, uh, and with the breaking news, that uh, uh, the ATF and the U.S. Marshal Service is recruiting from law enforcement agencies here in yes. North Carolina. They are, yes. And yes. what they're planning on doing is they'll get the local officers in with the ATF and the U.S. Marshal Service. Now, they'll be, the payroll will come from the state, but the equipment will be issued by the federal government, all except for the vehicle, and that'll be a totally unmarked uh, cruiser that'll be issued to them. Huh. Wow. Okay, and the timeline, what do you expect to happen? They're, they're, the training is going to start within the next week with the, the officers that volunteer to do this, and mostly the ones that volunteer are mostly the droid heads. That's what yeah. we call them anyhow. Yeah, exactly. The ones who uh, are gung-ho to anything they're told to do. Yes, sir. And they're all pumped up. They're taking stuff to build their muscles artificially, and it's just unreal. I've been in law enforcement 31 years here, and I've never seen anything like it in my life. Uh, how, how, what do you sense yourself? I'm sorry, sir. So what do you sense happening yourself? What, what, do you, what do you sense and what's your timeline you sense? Well, I'm, I figure it's going to take them about 30 to 45 days to get everything in line. Now, we have a – our governor here in North Carolina is one of the governors picked by uh, President Obama to take control under a martial law program. Oh. Wow. And your personal opinion, uh, Lieutenant, what, what are you going to do? Uh, I'm going home. you going home to protect, to protect your family? Yes, sir. And that's what the Lord wants me to do, and, and that's what he says to do, and that's what I intend to do. But do you expect some kind of movement then within the next two or three months? Yes, sir, I do. As far as? I, th I think they'll start to move, and, and they'll start picking out uh, certain people and uh, making confiscations and arrests. And they're going to do that house to house along the road, block, uh, road blocks or what? It'll be, it'll be wherever they can catch the certain individuals at. Yeah, that's they right. They want to catch them at home where they can take their uh, preparedness away from them. And do you have any names been given to you yet? Uh, no, sir. Okay. Uh, do you think the higher-ups know who it's going to be yet? I think they do, yes, sir. Interesting. Well, Lieutenant, if you if this is the last time you get to speak to the public, what would you tell them? Trust the Lord and be prepared. 
to you, defend yourself and your family. Would you tell them it's time to buy an AR-15 for home defense? I would say it is, and if you can find one. <laughs> yes, exactly. All right, that's enough. Yes. Full audio is up at InfoWars.com. And then we'll also give you Pastor Butch's uh, site. I'm going to skip this network break. You know, here's the thing, folks. They plan on this starting a fight. Okay, I, I want to explain to the police and military something. I am not going to turn my legally bought guns in just because a globalist criminal mafia don says I have to. But I also want it clear. I, because I'm an in, information person, I am here to be sacrificed. I am not, because if they come to my house and kill me, I didn't resist. I'm just not turning them in. They can, I'm going to go right to court, be a national court case, whatever. The problem is they'll probably just kill me. And they're going to sit in special units in to just kill gun owners. And they're going to call us terrorists. And then the foolish roid head, you heard him call them roid head, droid head, they're robots. They get killed, will be used as martyrs on the news. And this is how America falls. And, he, and Obama will be called the new Lincoln. Uh, they've mainly got Southern governors on the special 10 governor council to sell everybody out to say, oh, look, there's governors on the federal council as if that trumps the other 40 governors. It, it, and they're going to take everything. They're going to take your bank accounts, your pension funds, everything. They've got forced compulsory national service and communist brigades already set up. Rahm Emanuel will set that up. I can play him saying it if you want me to. Uh, this is how tyranny happens. And they... They don't even care if you do. If you did all turn your guns in, they'd still come to your house and kill you and drop guns there. They've got special units that literally hate the American people and want this war. Now, a lot of the police are good people, especially Christians, like you just heard that man. And you heard him. He's going to go home and defend his family. You know what that means. Once we see him killing people in the streets and everything, people aren't going to wait in their houses. And all police that aren't part of this are going to have to basically stand down and get out of that uniform real fast. Because, see, you're in Sauron's uniform now. You're in the foreign bank's uniform. You're in a Vichy French collaborator uniform. And um, I just can't. My guts. I've told you this for months that I've just, I just know it's all coming. I mean, I know. I don't need to even look at all this. I know. My discernment is just, just I mean, I've, I've got myself in order with God. I'll, I'll tell you that right now. I've made my peace with God. Let's go to Pastor Butch Paul. Pastor, I tell you, this is so disgusting, and it tears my guts out that we're going to watch the total fall of America right now. Uh, but I guess in a way we deserve it, the 53 million abortions and everything else. Uh, how bad is it going to get, Pastor, from all your other sources and Lieutenant McCoy? Well, Alex, thanks, Hey Milne. I appreciate it. And uh, the clip you just played, you almost got to the point where he asked him how they're going to bring it down. He said probably through an economic collapse. And we're watching... News, the news talking about the fiscal cliff and all the things and what the Senate and Congress has avoided. And it's all a show. We know it's a show. And uh, this gentleman, along with two other sources I have, two of my local sheriffs out of Michigan, have confirmed everything he's told me. And I'm sure a lot more uh, that they're going to economically collapse the country probably first or cause strain on that before they uh, move in on people like maybe you and I. But tonight on my program, I'm going to have the Lieutenant McCoy on for a full hour to discuss this in much more detail. Good, more and, and I would like to invite you and he on my show tomorrow. Can we do that? I'll have to ask him. I don't know that. I, I, I swore secrecy to him and who, who he is, where he's from, except for the state of North Carolina. But I, I won't No, I know, but every time you've, you've had these sources and confirmed them, it always later comes out as accurate. Uh, but, but, but sure, uh, and, and we'll obviously play some excerpts tomorrow from you uh, tonight, 8 o'clock Central. But, yeah, talk to him, see if he wants to come on. I will do that, Alex. And, you know, you and I have... This coming March will make me 20 years on the radio, and you've been on a long time, too. 17. 17, and we're, and we're not prophets. I want to make people understand this. We're not prophets. I'm, I'm, I'm a Bible-believing, I guess you can call me a Bible-thumper. I believe the Word of God is the Word of God, period. No compromises, no, no exceptions. But we're not prophets. I just take the Scriptures, I take history and current events, and I can tell you where we are in time. And what we're saying, we've been saying now for years, is coming to pass. We're not prophets, but we're not fools either. We can see what's coming. We're trying to warn the people. They're starting to listen a little more than they used to before. Even people around here that for years thought I was crazy are starting to realize, hey, he's telling the truth all along. And, and, and it just breaks my heart. We can't reach everyone. But they're wanting to fight now, Alex. That's what they're wanting. They're pushing for a fight, and they're going to get one. And I know the Well, that's the thing. I hope all the all these roid heads understand you're going to get a fight. Yes, you are. And, and the globalists don't care. The plan is to wipe all you idiots out. 
Yeah. But I tell you, these roid heads are just too stupid, man. I'm telling you. I mean, well, they just. They, they are. Uh, I've seen one uh, uh, wearing a shirt today uh, in a little town here in Somersville, next to where I live in West Virginia, wearing a shirt that uh, something but uh, don't <clears throat> F with the cops. We're, we're, we're more of a man than you are, something like that. Uh, and I, I just I just looked down at this cringe. You know, a few years ago, he would have been fired for wearing a shirt like that. It, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't have been a question. But now there's, there's no... Uh, no, no they want goons. That. They don't want strong, smart, good men. They want a bunch of crazy goons. They will follow orders uh, unquestionably. But Lieutenant McCoy, uh, I spoke with him on the phone a little more uh, in length yesterday before we scheduled for the program tonight. And he is very concerned, more so than he mentioned on my radio show. Tonight we'll probably get more detail. But he's very concerned. He knows it's imminent, according to him and other sources. Uh, two to three months is a good shot of being a possibility this all come together. Now, maybe they're off a few months. I don't know. We're not going to put dates on this. Well, but if we get the word out, they'll pull back. But, but, but yes, right now they're going to DEFCON 1. So this is, this is imminent. We're not talking, folks, about something 20 years from now or five years from now. This is imminent. Whether it's five, uh, three months, six months, or a year, this is coming right now. Well, look at the timeline. They're getting ready to pass a physical gun turn in, yes, and they're going to say, turn them in, and they're going to start SWAT teaming and killing people that don't as a way to try to terrify us, and that's not going to happen. People are going to go out and engage them, and then it's going to be, oh, the gun owners are terrorists, which the manuals already say, a self-fulfilling prophecy. Well, you know, Eric Holder back in 95 said that we have to change the minds of brainwashed people to believe, uh, to think different That's about a quote. guns. That's a That's quote. That's a quote, yes. And, and, and he did convince me of something. I, I never bought a gun in my life considered a weapon. I, I, I own guns. I own several guns. I always buy them for fun, target practice, or hunting. I've never bought a gun for a weapon per se, but I've never bought a baseball bat for a weapon either. Either can be used for a weapon. But I have considered my guns as weapons now. I didn't do it. Eric Holder, you were, it worked on me. You convinced me my guns are going to be weapons. I didn't buy them for that reason. No more, no, no more than about a baseball bat for that reason. But you attack me. I'll defend my fa myself and my family by any means necessary with the, all the force I have. Now, I'm a pastor. I'm a Christian. I don't want to do this. I'm begging you, folks, leave us alone. We're begging you, don't tread on us. We're not wanting to fight. But we will, by God, stand and fight. Yeah, I, I, it's... I, uh... They really want to start a civil war, and I'm telling you, the veterans out there are just going to wipe out the police. I mean, they are going to be wiped out, and that is the plan. That is the plan to then bring in foreign troops. I mean, I mean, it, the police will be wiped out. I mean, I hope they understand that. I, I just cannot believe we've gotten to this point. And at first, they're going to go out and blow up houses and go after, quote, cult members and demonize us. It's not going to work. And then people are going to go on the offense defensively, Pastor. And uh, I just cannot believe it. Alex Jones here with a very important announcement for Truth Seekers. We've carried a lot of amazing films and books over the years on the online video bookstore at Infowars.com. And out of all the titles we've carried, one stands out because it is just so chillingly convincing. And that's Dreams from My Real Father by Joel Gilbert, available at Infowars.com. This film exposes the fraud that Obama is like nothing I've seen. If you want to know who Obama's real daddy is, this is the film for you. Don't forget, your purchase supports our broadcast and our growing media network. You'll also find at InfoWarsShop.com, None Dare Call a Conspiracy by Gary Allen, the book that woke me up. We're also carrying Behind the Green Mask, UN Agenda 21 by Rosa Corey. This book is coffin nails to the globalist takeover. The Greater Good, the most professional and up-to-date film I've ever seen exposing the scourge that is vaccines. These titles and a lot more are all available at InfoWarsShop.com. Right, we're going to get Pastor Butch and uh, Lieutenant McCoy on either tomorrow or Friday. We're lining that up right now. And uh, 8 o'clock tonight, Central, GCNLive.com, 9 o'clock Eastern. Uh, local AM and FM certain in some areas of the country, shortwave as well. Uh, call. Uh, what's the best website for people, Pastor Butch? Call to decision. Well, then go to pastorbutch.com to look the stations we're listed on. That we are all the country, different all the country on different stations. They can also listen on shortwave. The frequencies are on there, also on pastorbutch.com. They will listen on net. The best site to go to probably is gcnlive.com. Click on night nine o'clock Eastern. Listen to the program tonight. This is probably gonna be the most listened to show I've had in a long time, and and definitely the most important one I've had as pertaining to this police state situation and what's coming down. Sure, you well, know, let's get him on again also for our full audience. We'll obviously play some clips tomorrow, but everybody should tune in. I want to crash the Genesis servers. But the point is that 
I, I mean, I, I don't know if you have a chance to hear my show. I used to be able to listen to yours a lot more, uh, but but I miss it quite a bit. But I mean, did you hear me two, three months ago say I've never felt like this in my spirit, and now yes, we yes. see it all unfolding? Yes, yes, I have. And I said the same thing about the same time ago, five or six months ago. There's something coming. My gut says it. Of course, we know it's your spirit, but in your gut, it's like a dread. It's like you're expecting to be mortared or rocketed like it was in Nam. You're expecting it. It's, it's going to happen. You're just waiting. You almost wish you could get over Yeah, was your spirit ever wrong? Was your gut ever wrong when you were in covert operations in Cambodia? Uh, not very often, no. No, not very often. I've learned, I've learned to trust my spirit on that, especially since I'm a Christian and the Holy Spirit does tell me things. Not very often, no. Well, it just meant the guy aiming a gun at you quit aiming it at you when the, when, the, when the bad thing didn't happen. Exactly. And that's why, you know, the, you, just, you may say a minute ago that it's really important. If we get this news out, we may delay this for a few months. But, Alex, it's going to come. You, you, you remember, of course, William Cooper. Uh, William Cooper wrote a book entitled Behold a Pale Horse. And in that book he said... And he gave the name of the CIA uh, operation that was going to do this that would cause shooting and mass killings in schools. That's in his book in 1991. It's on my website, PastorBush.com. Read it for yourself. It's on there. This was predicted uh, 13 years ago, uh, 12 years ago. No longer than that. My goodness, that's been 20, 21. Year, yeah, 21 years ago. So this is absolutely phenomenal. Now, again, he wasn't a prophet. But he knew what was coming down. Of course, he was killed for it. But he spoke the truth, put it in his book, and now we're seeing it happen. And most people don't even know what was in the book because most of them never read it. If they did, did, they forgot about it. But they can read it. They can see the actual page on my website. Well, I, I mean, I've got other police calling in with the same info, and a lot of it's in the news. It's in the Army manuals they're training for gun confiscation. It's in the news they're deputizing local police's ATF. Uh, it's in the news they bought 1.6 billion bullets and are deploying heavy armored vehicles to every town and city. They're gearing up for total war against us in an orchestrated collapse when we're going to need guns during that collapse. They want us totally dependent, and I, I just, you can look at, I, I know they're going to stage some more school shootings, Pastor. Well, I had uh, two other sheriffs in Michigan uh, confirm what this gentleman said, plus the state senator confirmed the same thing. Uh, this, is the, this is the plan. They've all been told the same scenario is coming down. Uh, none, of them, none of them are for it. They're like the lieutenant. They will leave and do what they have to defend themselves. But they know it's coming down. They're, they're on the inside trying to warn us. And I thank God for these men and women who have the courage to speak out in time like this. This, this not only can mean their job, this can mean their lives. This could be if they. This is. But there's no us. future for him, anyways. There you, isn't. There you've isn't. You've got no. to put it all on the line now. That's what I'm doing. That's what you're doing. And and make no mistake, he said they're going to take out the the resistance leaders first. Yeah. In every case, they're coming right for us, buddy. Well, you you and I both know that we've known this for years. It will be the first taken out. That's fine with me. Uh, if I got to go, the first wave is fine. I don't mind going out. Then it's in, then it's in somebody else's hands. But we have been sacrifice yourself so to speak on the air now for a long time warn the people that we, we've been scoffed at laughed at and mocked and ridiculed but we're still here and we're going to stand to the end all right i'll be listening tonight and uh, get him on tomorrow or friday uh god bless you and uh we're going to be staying in contact with you with my producers to nail this down and make sure this happens uh so twist his arm i want to get him on this show okay i'll do my best all right thank you we got uh, bob fletcher coming up to give us his take on this and a lot more Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want.